All right, we're here on the red carpet with PearlSoundBiscount.com. So, talk to us about getting to kind of sneak in and, and help Bernie celebrate tonight. Well, somebody asked if you know if I would come in and present him with the award. I've done, I've known him 42 years. I've done more than, I can't even count the number of films I've done together. And I thought it would be nice just to come in. He, he just thinks I'm here with his family, you know. I mean, you could headline the list yourself. I mean, this is a really special time. <laughs> That's right. It's a pleasure being here. And uh, did you fly in today? I mean... We're in yesterday. I leave tomorrow. Wow. So are you going to be able to do anything tomorrow? Probably not. Because I'm leaving around noon. So. Wow. wow. Well, I mean, do you have any... I mean, just kind of keep on Bernie's theme. Is there, there a, a film or a moment that you remember him most or just working with him? So many. Yes. Uh, my favorite part of him was Electric Horseman and what he did for Redford in the electric suit. And the other one was Havana that I did with him that was period. And it was it just took so much pressure off of me. It was like a cakewalk. Because when you do a period picture of that scope, wow, you know? Was it, I mean, of all your films, I mean, did you have a... a how would you define your, your legacy look-wise? Well, I... I like to do films that make you think. Um, I, I'm not really into Transformers, even though I enjoy watching it. I'm not into The Avengers, even though I think it's a joy. But my movies that I do, Scent of a Woman and Meet Joe Black and Absence of Malice and Ordinary People, and they're, they're movies that you walk out of the theater and you can actually talk about. So was, it, was it nice to be able to get actors to do so much, like Al Pacino in Son of a Woman? It just seems like he gives it it all for you. I mean, well, he, he, uh, Al, you know, Al is a funny guy, and I'm still very, very, very close friends with him to this day. But uh, it's like the tango. You know, I had to go over and actually get him out of bed to go to rehearsal. You know, because, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I say, Get your ass out of bed. <laughs> is that the toughest part about being a director with the stars? Is well, getting when you're produced, you know, you lose money. It's a, it's a money thing, you know. You want to do the best you can. I did two movies with Marty Bress, for one being son of a woman and one being, you know. And I've had a fortune. I was fortunate enough to do um, is a lot of the pictures I do, these actors in there, you know, Chris O'Donnell and son of a woman. Denzel Washington in, in Soldier's Story, Tim Hutton in Ordinary People. And that's a real challenge. So for the directors, I mean, I produce. Um, I give as much as I can to the director and go from there. Well, I mean, is there anything kind of that you want to last comments for the Dallas fans getting to see this? I just keep watching movies, you know, and keep turning on the television. It, the quality. I mean, I see Laura Lenny and I'm blown away. I think she's like a great actress. She can do either one. You know, she can she can do television. You know, people like Claire Danes. People like, you know, that's great that they're doing it. You know, and now Dallas is a whole new experience for me because it, now I can bring work here. You know? Well, it's a privilege to have you here. Thank you for coming in and surprising Bernie like this. So great. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, he doesn't know. So we'll keep it. it ah. <laughs> On the red carpet with PearlSampDiscount.com. <laughs>